In today's tutorial, we unveil the six prompts technique to create stunning digital masterpieces with stable diffusion, pushing the boundaries of imagination. In the heart of the modern metropolis, where creativity meets the cutting edge stable diffusion AI image technology, we embark on a journey into the limitless realm of AI generated art. Join us on this exhilarating journey through pixels and pathways as we redefine what's possible in the world of art and technology. So today we will learn about some tricks and techniques to write prompts and get amazing results with just using these tricks. Let's get started. So first let's see about the keyword break and its magic event with the same prompt and settings, but different results. Sounds cool, right? Let's see, starting with an example generating using default settings and anything model for it. There you go. As you can see, the generated images are not perfect and recognized by SD as I prompt. Let's use the keyword break between the prompts. So take a look at the results. Here they are now separated in colors as well. And also I asked the green eyes in the prompt, so it generated that as well. Okay. Similar to break, but scenarios are different. Tagging is also from what you can achieve a better result by some slider changes. I set black afro, so the stable diffusion is unable to recognize the keyword as it is not one, it is two words joining together while results are not so great. Now I am dividing the keywords in two parts, like black hairs, and then separator comma, and then type fro. Now let's regeneration results. So take a look at the results now as you're able to recognize that FRO is a style of errors and generated the better images than before. Okay, now let's generate some images with a different model. Now I'm using absolute reality and see the results with the same prompts and using keywords with afro wig, so it will generate afro wig hairstyle. Let's see. So take a look at the results. Now they are now looking wonderful. Okay, now moving on, the next trick. So this trick called camera styles. For this, I will use XYZ plot trip and I'm putting some camera styles in it and see the magic follow along with me. There you go, take a look at the results. You will come to know how you can achieve your desired results using these small tricks. Let's move on. Okay, in the next trick, we will use clip skip so far. This same scenario using the XYZ plot change the settings in XYZ plot to clip skip and put the value 1, 2, 6 and let's generate. Here you go. So take a look at the images compare with the lower number of clip the higher you go the better the results but sometimes it generates ugly images so you can sure to put negative prompts 
At last, we will see the usage of another keyword, but in different cases for the same keywords. I'm talking about A and D in uppercase and in lowercase. Let this again, same script, and we will be using and just the prompt setting done and put the keywords in the XYZ plot. Now see the magic. So there you go. So here you have learned some techniques for prompting and generating different images using slight changes. Feel free to experiment. Let's try a few more example in local PC. I feel this and result is kind of interesting. Mostly the generated result can see the difference on clothing outfit. Now if I am not using the XYZ plot and only using the prompts, it wouldn't have the difference on upper and lower case. Here is the upper case and without XYZ plot. As you can see, the tank top and long skirt are created in two separate drawing. Now I am using XYZ plot, you will see what I mean. Again, I'm going to put uppercase and and lowercase and in prompt S doc R. Let's try this one. See in here again, as you can see, there are two different style appear. By using XYZ plot with uppercase and, you're going to have two object generate together, which is tank top and long skirt. But if you are using lowercase and, you're going to have two separate object output on the body. I think that is how the logic goes in the AI. Let's try one more time. See, again, I think that is how the logic goes. This is pretty cool tricks. So next time when you want to create different style of clothing, you can appear this method. So yay, feel free to experiment by yourself. And I will see you in the next video. See ya.